Kutoka Malindi mtazamaji turudi humu jijini ambapo mwaniaji wa kiti cha ugavana katika kaunti ya Nairobi kupitia azimio la umoja wa Kenya Poli Kapigadhi na rifio kwamba anazungumza na vyombo vya habari kuhusiana na uzinduzi wa baadhi tu ya zile ajenda zake kabla ya uchaguzi wa Agosti 9 tuelekee pale moja kwa moja tumsikilize Um, maybe we come this way and then we come to you. Uh, you. My name is Joe Karanda, TV47. Uh, my question is, what are you going to do with uh, the creative industry now that we want to rewrite uh, the story about naive electronic tackle? As you know that we have so many content creators across Nairobi, but most of them are struggling uh, with getting equipment, licenses, and I'd like you to address that and probably uh, tell us if in your manifesto, if you set aside a fund for this creative economy. Uh, thank you very much. We have pronounced ourselves to promoting brand Nairobi. Arts, culture, music, books, um, and we've promised that we would like to see a books, arts, theater, culture festival bigger than what they have in other parts of the land, and a fashion week in Nairobi. That is what we mean by arts and culture. And we would like that to promote African culture especially. That's why we are calling Nairobi the global hub in Africa. Um, and maybe just for your information, I was part of the first directors of Kalasha Film Awards, myself, uh, as an individual. And we celebrate, there is a lot of theater in Nairobi, but we want to lift it, the national theater. The Koinange Street used to be the heart of theater with the Lyons Fonse. Uh, we would like to see streets like those where we create our own version of Broadway in Westlands, especially in the Nairobi Central Business District, Westlands <coughs> area and CBD. So we will work with thespians. Our work will be to be facilitators. Remember Professor and I landed on the theme of Nairobi to Navio Itaka because we believe in the democratic core and essentials of this city. It is what you want, then my work with him is to deliver it in the most efficient, effective way. So Nairobians have asked that give us theater sp spaces for theater. One of the biggest celebrated events in Kenya's education is the National Drama Festivals. When you look at where that talent disappears to, we have no idea. Nairobi is going to become a market for the thespians, a market for musicians, a market for artists, for others, and even hopefully in Central Business District, we will require in the future there to be a piece of art outside all big iconic buildings so that our sculptors can bring to life uh, their art and music. It's right in the heart of Nairobi to Navio Itaka Manifesto. Thank you for asking that question because it is a city of young people and it's a city that will showcase <coughs> not foreign art but African truly authentic Kenyan art. That is why it's our sitting room. Thank you very much. That's good. Another question uh, over here. Thank you. Yeah, I'm Chris Oweno from Ramobi TV. I've got two questions. The first question is on governance. Uh, many people have said that uh, Nairobi, the city hall, uh, is actually the center of corrupt and corruption. And you've said that uh, uh, one of your uh, uh, key areas is to ensure that this uh, service delivery and we know that uh, if corruption is rampant in an area it will hamper the provision of services to the people so what's your agenda on the fight against corruption at the city and secondly uh, maybe you can just uh, highlight your agenda on health care because uh, we've seen that uh, uh, in the past uh, nine or eight years uh, there have been a lot of uh, wrangles between the counties and the healthcare workers What's your plan for the health care workers of the Nairobi County? Thank you very much for those two questions. Let me start with corruption. Um, corruption is a problem. What we capture in the manifesto is the solution. Um, the solution is a digitalized e-government, but also a government and a public service that is motivated. What is motivation? That I get my salary on time, and that my salary, when you make deductions to NHIF, to KRA, to, uh, uh, to my circle, that those deductions get there. That there is a commercial bargaining agreement 
a tripartite agreement between the employer and the trade union because the of, of Nairobi City County. That is a big pain point that I feel valued. I'm not really considered. We want to become the team that removes the Kanjo mentality from Nairobi. Uh, because we have accepted that the, our worst are represented in Nairobi City County. I happen to have served for six months and I know how solid and how good professionals sit there. All they require is a good leader to give them oxygen to breathe. By oxygen I mean create an environment that enables them to serve. Politicians years past have never given the opportunity to the urban planner, to the architect, to the engineer, to the plumber, to the carpenter, to the city inspectorate worker to truly deliver their best. Nairobi to Ravio Itaka manifesto <coughs> promises to do that. And that's how you fight corruption, through making workers feel valued and important. And that is our 100 day promise. Secondly, we also want to separate the county assembly and the executive. The county assembly provides oversight to Nairobi City County. Mm -hmm and the executive delivers and it's held to account by the city county. If you look over the years, because Nairobi had a mayoral system and also the proximity of the county assembly uh, to the executive together, but the proximity is not an issue. What is a big issue is that there needs to be a Chinese wall so that the executive is the executive and parliament of Nairobi is the parliament of Nairobi and we separate the two. Lastly, we are also saying with corruption, Nairobi has been a live crime scene for far too long. We know land grabbing, all these things have gone together. With Professor Kaloki, we have a philosophy of drawing the line in the sand. We have had this conversation, even we were having this conversation over breakfast this morning. Mm -hmm. A line in the sand doctrine means, ya liopita, ya mepita. Let us now move forward. Let us agree from 10th of August, Nairobi will start to become a place where corruption does not thrive. How will we do that? We want to speak. We can't put everything in the manifesto, but both of us are true believers in recovery, restitution, and, and, and regularization of things. Uh, there's a reason why many countries come with truth and justice commissions. Why we look for amnesties, even to people who don't pay tax, we provide tax amnesties. We, that, that it requires more thinking, it requires better public participation, but we believe with a raft of lawyers that through a philosophy of restitution, recovery, and regularization, we can recover a lot of the assets that have been lost by Nairobi, and we can now move forward. If we, I, I repeat, Nairobi has been a live crime scene for decades. If we, and and if this is a philosophy they use in the banking industry. When you take over a bank with very many bad loans, you create a bad bank and a good bank, so that the bad bank, where you, uh, you, don't, you don't focus too much on the negative energy. We want to bring positive energy to the city of Nairobi. We want to work with people to move forward. But at the same time, the restitution, recovery, and regularization period will be six months. And after that, we say that we all move and conform and comply. We run, we bring back law and order to the city, which is what residents want, which is what investors want, which is what our national government want. And it's also what is the platform of our political leaders. Uh, especially Barbara Ila Molodinga, who has spoken strongly about corruption. And our integrity, therefore, is also something we bring to the table and we say it's a great differentiator um, in terms of the background and where we have come from. So that's corruption. Um, your second question was on, um, on the healthcare delivery. Nairobi has... Huyo ni Polycap Igadhi mtazamaji akiwa pamoja na mgombea mwenza wake Philip Kaloki wako katikati ya jiji la Nairobi ambapo anazungumza na vyombo vya habari kuhusiana na baadhi ya yale ambayo yako kwenye kapu lao iwapo watatoa uongozi wa kaunti ya jiji la Nairobi kwenye kinyang'anyiro cha ugavana katika uchaguzi wa Agosti tisa. Mtazamaji ni taarifa ambayo na niruhusu nitamatishia na yegiri hapa studioni lakini katika sehemu yetu ya pili ni jarida leo ilivyo ada huwa tunaangazia yale makuu ya wiki ambayo yamekuwa yakigonga vicho vya habari nitakuwa na jopo la wageni ambao utakuwa na watambulisha baada ya mapumziko mimi naitwa Cecilia Wakesho Matuva endelea kututazama <tune>